Welcome to Hardcore Garage. What are we getting into today? Okay, I know we forgot a lot of things in the video, so I wanted to make at least a small supplemental video about setting up and dealing with basic metals when you are going to weld. Again, this is just basic stuff. I'm not a welder. Uh, I just know how to read, so <laughs> I can read the side of the, the welder. And almost any welder that you have is going to have one of these on the side casing. It pretty much tells you everything that you need to know about welding. Um, the first thing <clears throat> that I had noticed, I, I've been to another buddy's house this week, and he had having trouble welding. So I opened up the welder, and uh, he had been welding with gas, but he had the polarity set up for gasless flux cord wire and if you look right here you can see the bottom wire being the black wire is your ground so if you come down in here and look they're just wing nuts the black wire is your ground which is on ground currently and the top one is your positive okay So that matches that setup right there. So if you are going to weld with flux core, you need to swap those two wires, which reverses the polarity, changes where the ground is, and you also use a different kind of wire when you are using gasless. All right. The next thing is, when you are starting to weld, you look up here. And it says steel thickness. So if you were welding, let's say 18 gauge wire, you're going to go on to the setting for MIG. So 16 gauge with MIG would be a C4 setting. That's when we would come back over to here and you would start with your C and your 4 setting, which that's almost exactly where we are for 16 gauge metal or any other metal that you want to do. And it'll even show you over here, your 12 gauge, your 10 gauge, um, 3 16 and quarter inch should not be used with the MIG. They want you to go with the gasless on a D3 setting. And you can go through here and, and it'll, it'll pretty much show you all the information that you need for setting up your welder for what you're going to do. And then from there, it's just going to be an experimentation until you figure out exactly what works best for you. So, hey, try it, man. Till next time, keep on trucking.